This lecture will underline the strategic importance of a well-designed telecommunication infrastructure. Then it will give an overview of the evolution of wireless and wireless access network technologies to support the bitrate requirements introduced in previous lecture. Today, telecommunication networks are just as important as the other main infrastructures of a country such as the road and railway transportation systems or the electricity grid. It is thus important that policymakers have a global view of the techno-economics of these networks. A national telecommunication network is made of software, hardware and physical links connecting central offices and final users. Among these three key ingredients, the physical link infrastructure, wired or wireless, is the one that policymakers should focus on when defining national strategies related to telecommunications. This is because the outdoor physical link infrastructure is the most expensive, the one that requires national regulations, and the one that has to last the longest. For example, in many countries, the copper-based fixed telephone network started to be widely deployed after World War II and it is still in use today. In the previous lecture, we saw that the national networks can be geographically classified into three main segments – access, metro and long haul. Moreover, we saw that modern and user applications require higher and higher bit rates. The focus of this lecture is on the technologies that are available to set up links satisfying current as well as future requests, with a specific focus on future-proof access networks. Although availability and latency are also other very relevant network metrics, due to time limitations, we will use bitrate as the technical metric within this lecture. To understand the current request in Access Network, let's make a very simple user-side example. Let's say you want to download a movie in DVD quality on a network, and the file is 4 GB, that is, 4 billion of bytes, and since each byte is 8 bits, the file is 32 gigabit long, that is, 32 billion of bits. How much time do you need to download it? If you have a 2 megabit per second connection, you need about 5 hours. Thus, you cannot watch the movie in real time, or as we usually say, in streaming. If you have a 20 megabit per second connection, you need about half an hour. Now, you can also stream it and view it in real time. If you have a 200 megabit per second connection, you need about 3 minutes, which opens the possibility for instance backup of the file. Let's see how these bit rates can be delivered in Access Network. Broadly speaking, there are two main options, wireless and wired links. Wired connections are static, point-to-point, -point, dedicated links from central offices to our apartments or business places using copper wires or, more recently, fiber optic cables. Wireless connections are delivered either between fixed antenna in the so-called fixed wireless access or in the very important cellular implementation between fixed antennas, called base stations, and the small antennas inside our mobile devices. Each of the two solutions have pros and cons. The advantages of wireless solutions in access are mobility of user devices, lower initial deployment costs, particularly in low population density areas, and faster deployment. The advantages of wireless solutions in access are 
The connection is dedicated to each individual user without bandwidth sharing. Higher bit rates, particularly using fibers. Huge bitrate upgrades are possible without changing the infrastructure. Lower out-of-service probability, meaning higher global availability. Let's focus on the typical bitrates ADSL over traditional fixed copper-based twisted pair connections developed to work on the old telephone wires can give about 20 megabit per second per user, while newer fiber to the home solutions can easily deliver up to a gigabit per second per user and more in the near future. Wireless solutions are much more heterogeneous. Focusing on cellular networks, third generation or 3G cellular networks are capable of delivering up to a few megabit per second. 4G LTE cellular networks can deliver up to some hundreds of megabit per second. And future 5G cellular networks will be able to deliver even higher bit rates. It is very important to consider that the nominal bit rates are in wired solutions dedicated to each individual user while in the wireless solutions they are shared by all users residing in a given cell. This is a very important difference between the two options. National policy makers must drive the evolution of access networks because they are one of the strategic assets of a modern country. In developing countries, wireless access is by far the easiest short-term solution Governments should thus follow a very tight control on spectrum allocation and licensing. Wired access should also be implemented whenever possible, likely leapfrogging copper-based access, if not already in present, and directly jumping to fiber-based access, at least in very large urban areas. Finally, look also beyond access network. Fiber is seen as the best option for long-haul network. It is a good choice to deploy fiber cables when building any new long-distance infrastructure, such as roads, electrical distribution grids, and long-distance water, oil, or gas pipelines.